What's up everyone? I hope you're doing great. So today I wanted to try something different and that is to shoot um, and mimicking the style of the masters of uh, photography. So uh, let's pick uh, one uh, for today, which, uh, who is uh, Gary Winner Grant, who has a distinct, who had, um, had or has, yeah, still, well, he's dead, but uh, his pictures uh, are still uh, uh, very much alive. So his style is uh, to shoot uh, so mainly black and white uh, and um, wide angle. So me, I have only my 40 mil today, uh, but uh, yeah, he was like more on the 28, sometimes 35 uh, uh, full frame. And uh, with a crooked horizon and uh, you can, he was shooting like really, really fast. And uh, I think uh, when he died, he left like uh, 6,000 uh, rolls of film undeveloped. And um, yes, yeah, so a lot of his work, he, he didn't have uh, the time to process uh, uh, the film. He was just shooting, shooting and spending all day uh, shooting. You know, I, I strongly uh, advise you to uh, uh, watch uh, videos on YouTube about uh, his uh, uh, how he was working and uh, his interviews it's really interesting and um, of course we can compete with someone who uh, dedicated his life to uh, his uh, uh, craft but uh, we can try to uh, um, understand his approach and try to adapt it to our own and uh, maybe learn something from it so let's try and do that shall we
Thank you. So what did I learn from the, this process of uh, Gary Winogrand's process? So the first thing, it made me, um, it forced me to shoot people uh, uh, from the front. And uh, I usually tend to shoot people uh, from the back because I was more interested in uh, shapes, forms, colors, their clothes and everything. And uh, shooting uh, from uh, the front, um, you connect more with your subject. And you, um, yeah, this is uh, how I, uh, I felt about it and uh, the other thing is um, that uh, when I was uh, connected to my subject so to, to the to the content I was uh, less um, uh, meticulous with the with the framing so as soon as I saw something that was uh, worth worthwhile to me to shoot I just uh, just point the camera and shoot uh, even if the framing or the focus is not uh, on point and uh, yeah, the other thing is um, my positioning was not the same uh, because I, I tend to be a, a little bit uh, farther uh, from my subject. And I noticed that um, I needed to be much closer. And uh, even, uh, even at that point, I wasn't uh, close enough to, to feel the frame. And uh, I know that feeling the frame is something very important, usually in photography. And uh, I tend to uh crop my images a lot because uh, sometimes i see that uh, some part of the image are totally just uh, um, empty and uh, last but but not least uh, is to uh, pay attention to the to the content and less to the form i hope you like this content uh this series of uh, being inspired by the process of uh, a renowned photographer let me know if that's something that you would like to see more i know we'd be more than happy to uh, to oblige and uh, till then, take care of yourself, of your beloved ones, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.